Hello and welcome to this section of the TI-89 Calculator Tutor. Uh, this section we're going to use the calculator to do something really, really cool and that is how to find the Taylor polynomial uh, and also the Maclaurin polynomial of a function. So most of you guys have studied this in uh, calculus class. Basically any function that you can think of uh, sine, cosine, tangent, logarithm, e to the x, whatever. Any, pretty much any function that's differentiable that you can take a derivative of. You can construct what's called a Taylor polynomial. And what's going to happen is um, you, you, when you take them by hand, basically what you do is you start taking derivatives of your function, put it into the, the equation of a Taylor polynomial. And uh, what you're going to get back is a new function that's going to be an approximation of the original function that you had. So you all know what sine looks like, right? It goes up and down like that. Well, if you construct a Taylor polynomial of the sine function, then what you're going to get back is an approximation of sine. It's not going to be exactly equal to sine of x. It's going to be an approximation. Now, to get more and more accurate, to have it converge closer and closer to the actual function, sine of x in this case, you have to have more and more and more terms. In other words, more little terms in your polynomial. And when we say polynomial, we're not really saying that it's going to look like x squared plus 3x or whatever. We're just saying it's, it's called that because of the way it's derived. And I'll just leave it at that. You can go off in an algebra or calculus book and figure out and look at how the Taylor polynomial is constructed. But you, tip, you have to take derivatives and you put it into this sum, summation. And the more terms you have in your sum, the closer and closer you get to your original function. And if you have an infinity number of terms in your sum, then theoretically you'll converge pretty darn close to being exact to your original function. So if you take logarithm of x, for instance, and you take a Taylor polynomial with two terms, it's going to be a whole lot less accurate than if you took a Taylor polynomial with 15 terms, right? And of course, the 15-term polynomial, the 15-term Taylor series is going to be uh, is going to be much, much harder to, because it has 15 terms, it's, it's, it's going to be much more cumbersome, but it is much more accurate. So what we can do is use the calculator to find these guys here. So let's go down uh, past number 8, and you'll see Taylor. So when you hit enter, uh, the first thing you need to enter is what function are we trying to approximate? What is the original function we have? You can put anything you want in here, but let's go ahead and do uh, e to the x. So we'll do e to the power of x. So this is the uh, equation. You might kind of convince yourself what that looks like. It's a regular exponential that goes up off to infinity as x gets larger and larger. Of course, it has base e, which is a very special number. Uh, and what we would like to do is, is construct some other series of terms that approximates this guy. The more and more terms we have, the more and more closely it's going to resemble this, uh, or it's going to calculate